going on everybody it's spicy topic i was actually going to go live tonight but i am really tired it's late so um i figure i try that one again maybe later on today because it's already early in the a.m anyway the one sin that can never be forgiven is blaspheming the holy spirit these people in this camp of carbonation have blasphemed against the holy spirit the guy who calls himself chief i don't want to call him that nature boy is what i will give him his real name is elegio bishop and i i call elegio legion of demons because of the way he is and the message that he gives these two women are his he calls them concubines i call them his homemakers you know eliana is is about to i'm about to share with y'all this dream she said she had it's crazy because one night I went to sleep, fell asleep while listening to one of their videos and I actually dreamed of two demons, y'all. Two demons. It was like two white demons. One of them was like behind me. Everywhere I go, they just like sneaking up behind me. The other one was like playing games in front of me. It was just the weirdest thing. I have had different dreams like this, so I wasn't, I wasn't scared. I know what to do. Even in my dream, I start rebuking it in Jesus' name. And see, I know that these people, they, they don't, they don't, they don't recognize Jesus as the savior. I do. And I have always done that and will always do that, you know. So anyway, Eliana has tried to leave this guy and she came back. The reason she tried is because she does not like polygamy. She does not like polygamy. Eliana was always the strong one, you know, and, and she's always had that strong mindset. She's the one that don't take it, you know. She tries to, to stand her ground, and she tried to stand her ground by leaving a couple times. And I'm actually just getting on to the story. There's a lot of people that's been on the story, so I'm only explaining this little bit for the ones that bump into this video and don't know what I'm talking about, okay? My, my thing is with, with uh, Eliana is this. You said a lot of things when you left against Carbonation, against Nature Boy, against what was going on. And you come back and what he's doing and you just, I don't get it, but you can realize that he's breaking you down. He teaches these people that all of them are fragments of his mind. They are all broken down. Just like if you throw a glass on the ground, you have all these pieces. He's saying that these pieces are pieces of his mind. And so that these people should be in unison with what he's thinking. These people don't have a mind of their own as far as what he would have them be. Eliana has always had her own mind, but she kept going back. So what happens when you keep going back to a situation like this is become it. it starts to be that you lose control and you start giving into what he wants and now you will accept the polygamy and i do not call you a homemaker i call you a homemaker and i will call you that because the truth sets you free so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and play some of this video um i will stop it because it's not my video it is actually their video i'm going to stop it and shout out to the t because they always get the t um <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play this video and then we'll break this down. Let's start it. I had a message that just came to me to, to the dream room. And um, I got a chance to experience. Um, I got to experience what it's like to be hijacked, like what it's like to be possessed by demons. It's an extremely long video, so I'm definitely not playing the whole thing, but it's long, too long for me tonight anyway. Um, keep in mind, if she's talking like this and in that situation where you're having sex with being passed around in that house, people are being passed around from person to person. These people are not worshiping God, yet they are claiming to be him. They are not abiding by the traditional way that God set forth for his people in order to prosper and grow in health. She is in communion with demons. And in this situation, Eliana, this is not a good sign. This is a sign that there is danger around you. And this is a warning to you. And if you take this as something good, then you're lost completely and forever. 
what it's like to be hijacked, your body to be hijacked. And it's like, in moments, in moments, in certain moments, when you are being possessed by these demons, um, some of us who are more aware or more conscious than other um, other other beings in our life, we um we can observe ourselves being possessed. We can observe ourselves being hijacked. For example, you'll be doing being regular, like just doing your regular day to day routine, and then all of a sudden through a word or through something you see, you'll be triggered. And then all of a sudden, your personality just switches. Like Perhaps, Eliana, it's the fact that you're surrounded by sin and everything that will invite demons. Why does she... See, these people, they always try to put evil on the level of us they call us Babylon. Like you trying to blame that and put that on us. We are not the ones talking about being possessed. You are. I, I mean, I don't get it, girl. Like you're not looking through your own eyes and your own experience. We not talking about that. You talking about it. You're going through it. Why don't you take a look at what you around and what you're accepting in your life? What she's talking about, the triggering, is the fact that when you see your man that you love, that you have a baby by, that you left in order to take a stand for yourself, told everybody you was over him in polygamy, you know, you left and came back, and you still see him with the woman. You only triggered by your own actions. So you got that one right. You, you're only triggered by your own actions of going back to the same situation. You, he didn't change for you. Like I said, you wasn't worth enough for him to make that change to be with you and you only. He is breaking you down to be what he wants, even though you left. What does that tell you? So don't go there with that. They like to go there. They like to make it, make it as if it's us out here that are the ones that go through these things. When she's the one clearly saying how she went through this possession. You have, at that point, you have no control over what you say. You have no control over what you do. You have no control over anything, over yourself, period. And so, once that trigger is over and you calm down, maybe, hopefully, hopefully you have somebody in your reality that can help calm you down or can help bring you back to a, a balanced state of mind or you may have the ability to do that yourself like the moment pass and you calm down and then through the moment of the trigger you could see yourself going through the motions and you could be thinking to yourself like what the fuck am I doing why am I doing this and then once you come calm down, come to your senses, you then start apologizing for the things that you did and the things that you said. And I don't know what happened. I just felt like I didn't have control. And I want you to know what it is because it's important to know what it is so that we can start having control over ourselves so that we can start having control so my question is, if you're already out of the control, you, the demons are in control, and they come and they trigger, they come when they want to come, and somebody has to help you snap back, how is it that you can gain control of anything? You don't have the control. At any given moment, this thing can overpower you and overtake you. This thing can possess you. So what kind of control do you have in that moment? These these people talk they do talk from their head i heard somebody a caller say don't talk to me from your head i think it was fundy fee i think i like her but they they have a tendency to do that when they when they communicate 
they go all over the place and i don't know what they be talking about sometimes it's hard to say because you're going so far out there that like i said before the mind can go and go and never stop again when you sleep you still dream you don't have control over that the mind will continue to go and that's why it's important to stay in the reality because you can lose your mind like sometimes i'll hear them and it sounds like they're losing their mind one of the persons over there i mean one of the people over there named true he told this caller who was schizophrenic to stop taking his medicine he actually got on him like dude then i tell you to stop taking your medicine he's telling this guy it's all in his head the guy is like look the doctor said i can hurt somebody or i can hurt myself i can end up back in the psycho ward so obviously this guy is way out of his league you're not a doctor you're not a medical physician you're nothing like that you're not certified you don't have the, a degree to tell this guy to stop taking his medicine this guy can go off and, and murder somebody and, and hurt somebody and you will be responsible and you know what the dude won't care because you know what they, what she does is she puts it off on other things this is the reason and you can't reason with that he has a mental dysfunction that medicine may not be the cure but it is definitely the thing that is keeping him at a calm state and in a manageable state where he's not losing it this is what he needs until there is a cure and what you telling him is not a cure so I thought I'd bring that. I'm not gonna say I'm not, I'm not gonna play any more of that video because it's late, and I just want y'all to hear the gist of what she's saying, where her state of mind is at as of with the date said March 4th, 2020. She's been interacting with some impure things, some things that are not holy, unclean, and it's what she's around. It's what she's involving herself into. And again, I say. If what you're doing is right, you wouldn't be going through this. This would not be taking you over. Because like I said, the blood of Jesus, nothing. I'm not the one. I am not the one saying that this happened. You are. Not that it has not. I've had encounter encounters as a child. You know, um, growing up, we were taught, and this is what I learned. You can see this. You, you can learn this too. Little When your children are small, a lot of times there are demons that can torment them they call them imps the little tiny little short looking man looking demons crazy looking things that will come and try to keep your kids to 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 torment them in their sleep where you can't move your body is like locked and you can just look i had that happen to me a lot when i was a child but you know that i plead the blood so fast all it could do is release you know but they don't want to plead the blood they are surrounding themselves in sinful things and unclean holy and unholy things and you know they're not stopping what they're doing they're not turning from their ways and at this point you've already blasphemed against the holy spirit and you are not forgiven for that there's no forgiveness for that no forgiveness for blaspheming against the holy spirit all right y'all so that's just a little bit of update and um definitely we'll be back to look into this more i'm um, a little bit about just a, just a tad bit about me I grew up loving the Lord, and this, where I'm living now, this ain't nothing like what I was, you know, um, blessings coming, miracles, I saw all that, I spoke all those things, real, real miracles, real mir miracles, I felt no evil with it, I felt the purity of God, and I was born again by, by the Lord Jesus, and filled with the Holy Spirit, you know, and I still carry the Lord with me, he did say he's married to the backslider, so, when you hear me talk about these things it's because of where who i am and where i come from you know i know true deliverance comes from the lord these people are far from wanting that so it, it's really just about trying to get them to see the error of their ways or just doing commentary that's all i'm basically doing i see these people love what they're doing instead of her trying to do stand on her stand her ground and stand in her power and get away from it she's trying to give into it give into what she don't want she don't want polygamy she don't want because it don't feel good it does not feel right and now she's being possessed by evil and she's still willing to give into it so there is no hope or help for that type of person so it's just about doing commentary at this point hey well 
Leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Peace.